we see an attack down the board. Really quickly, Sri, let's just back up a few moves and see how we got here. Last we left it, Queen, Queen B7 was played. And uh, what happened then? Queen B7 shot just when long castle, Tanya. Anish played A5, which is very natural, trying to get some counterplay. And here, Shaq played this brilliant move, knight takes B5. Just distracting the queen from G7. Anish obliged. And he just sacrificed everything. He sacrificed wow. a rook. Now he sacrifices another bishop. Bishop into G7. Bishop into G7. And now head 6. He's down by a rook and a minor piece. But after rook A7, the point is not rook G1 covering the black king with your pawn on g7, but rook h1, threatening h7 and knight g6. It's a brilliant attack. I mean, I am mind blown, Sri. Uh, you know, we know this is shark style and everything, but in this game alone, he's made three sacrifices. He sacrificed rook into g4, the first one, which actually you spotted, and it was a really nice idea. And then goes on to give, let's just point out that square, rook into g4. Yeah, this was the moment. First sacrifice, chat. Then goes on to give up the knight on b5. Knight takes b5 just for a pawn to deflect black's queen, which is a defender. After queen takes b5, goes like, you know what? I haven't had enough of my sacrifices. Gives up another minor piece. Goes bishop takes g7. Classic, and classic stuff. Legendary stuff. This is legendary stuff. I mean, I barely make one sacrifice in 10 games. This is three sacrifices in one game. Yeah, amazing, amazing. And uh, it's time to finish the game now, yeah? With head seven check and probably head eight queens. Okay, this is... Or, or Bethany is going to go for queen g7 just for fun. Okay, that's too much. I wouldn't be able to take it. If there's another queen g7, oh my God, you know what? Yeah. I want to see queen g7. Chat, will we see queen g7? But is it that would be mistake? so complete, no, Tanya. Uh, he sacrificed a rook, he sacrificed a knight, a bishop, and queen is the only piece remaining. <laughs> he sacrifices everything and wins the king. One second, but is queen g7 actually winning or are we getting carried away? It could be, it could be. Uh, king g7 so runs g7. into checkmate. Yeah, but yes. rook g7, rook g8, which is that, there's knight g6. Let's just take a look at this line chat. And there's still knight yeah, g6. Yeah, Tanya, that is knight g6. Oh my god, chat. If you're going to see queen g7, I will not be able to contain myself. Uh, I, I strongly advise that you mute this channel if there's a queen g7, because there potentially might be a scream. Okay. Um, <laughs> thanks for the warning. <laughs> I'm going to do it before the chat. Oh, meanwhile, Arjun has won the game against Hari Krishna. Tanya. Oh my God! I cannot believe it, Sridhar. What, what on earth just happened? Wow, Shaq is having full fun here. What a game. Oh my God, is this, this is not the game of the tournament. This is the game of the champion's chest. Shaq here and Mahmudiano sacrificing a knight, a bishop, a rook, and a queen in one game. Unbelievable. Legendary. Oh my God. Legendary. <laughs> I can't believe it. I just cannot believe this game. What is this? Chess is stunning. This is beautiful. This is just so beautiful. I love it. I mean, Anish has got to play this out. He's, I know it's a complete shock for him as well, but somewhere he also must be... I don't know if he's actually admiring the the madness of this game or he's just devastated right now. But Rook G8, Knight G6, as we are pointing out, unreal stuff here. If King F7, King G, King F7 would have run into Rook 8, 7, and Rook 8, 7 comes in anyway. Is there mate to follow? Where's the mate here? Rook H7, King D6 has to be uh, played and. Uh... Uh, at the very least, white can go queen d8 check here. You, you have to keep giving checks, otherwise black gives you checkmate. I mean, imagine so, you go queen c8 after all this, after all the sacrifices, you end up with an extra piece and then queen f1 checkmate. No, that's not how this is going to end. It could happen because, you know, it's a mouse slip. It's a mouse, it's a very <laughs> mouse slippable move. Oh my god, queen d8, bishop d7. But and now we need to make rook d7 work, yeah? Another sacrifice? Okay, uh, what are you even saying? <laughs> So there are two rooks in a chess uh, game, you know, so you, okay. just sacrificing one rook is not enough. <laughs> okay, 
when you're shark, you need to sacrifice every single piece on the board. Knight e5 check played. So shark will show us the way. But three, I cannot get over this game. What was this? It's a shark masterpiece. This is a masterpiece. This is down for the history books on how to conduct an attack, just not caring about the pieces, but do not try this at home. Absolutely. Now you can take Queen into C8, but he just stops any Rook F1 check. He's uh, had enough of sacrifices. Fun, now it's time to and it's and I need to resign. Resign. let's just have this position on the board. Let's just point out that Shark again sacrificed a knight, a bishop, a rook, and a queen in this game, ends up in this position where he's up one pawn. <laughs> where he's up one pawn, and Black's king is is an absolute devastation here. He's crushing this position. I cannot believe what we have just witnessed right now. Me too, me too, Tanya. I'm speechless. And uh, Anish, who checkmated with it in round two, is on the receiving end of a brilliant attack. Anish himself sacrificed a piece against Vidit, checkmated him. It's amazing. It's amazing how uh, interesting the games are in this tournament. I'm still reeling from this. And Anish also in absolute shock. He is checking where things went so wrong for him out of the opening. And you know, this was the Jabava London, right? It started yes, this was in Jabava London. And this just shows how dangerous this opening is. And with his H4, H5, 